Toy Story was a huge success for Pixar. It made them lots of money and put Pixar beside Disney in stats. They made a Bugs Life a few years later and that was a su success too. John Lasseter along with the team wanted to make a sequel to Toy Story, called Toy Story 2. Lots of ideas were made for the sequel, by Jesse, Zerg, Bullseye, and Al. It was going well along development until a small mistake almost caused Toy Story 2 to be completely gone. What was this incident, and how did Toy Story 2 almost be lost forever? John Laster, the director of the Toy Stories of Bugs Life and Cars 1 and 2, was inspired to make a sequel when he saw a little boy with a woody doll at an airport. He was with his dad, and how much he cared for his dad and the doll touched John. Production started in 1996 with lots of scripts and IDs written. Originally, it was supposed to be a directed DVD film like Aladdin 2. Thankfully, this didn't happen because Aladdin 2 didn't do as well as Disney had hoped. Tom Hanks and Tim Allen, the voices of Woody and Buzz, were affordable. Same with the other actors. At some point, they looked for a producer. Andrew Scranton was on A Bug's Life and Pete Docter was working on what would become Monsters, Inc. in 2001. John eventually found Ash Brennan, who has graduated from Cal Arts. They officially announced the film in a press release on March 12, 1997. They were inspired by characters like Howdy Doody for his roundup game. Everything was going well in 1998. Production was almost done, and they would have gotten the film out a little earlier. But one night, one of the animators were clearing out some small files and accidentally deleted the root file of most of the assets of the film and the internet servers. Next day, technical director Owen Jacobs noticed that the character mall started to disappear from the works in progress. They tried to shut down all the servers, but had lost at least 90% of the work that they did over the past few years. Backups kept failing too, and it looked like there was only a few months left till the release date, and they only had a few months to get all their progress back. But the film was saved by technical director Galen Seussman, who had been working from home to take care of her newborn child, revealing she had backups of the assets on her home computer. The Pixar team was able to recover nearly all of the lost assets, save for a few recent days of work, allowing the film to finish. The film was released on November 13, 1999 to massive success. The creators revealed the story years later in a video. They said they cheated when the film was saved, and Galen Seussman, who leaded the files, didn't mean to, and that she was clearly not useless files, but accidentally hit RM Star, which started to delete everything from the computer. And without realizing it, she deleted over half the film from the servers, but she actually ended up saving it as well. I'll leave the video link in the description. That's the story of how Toy Story 2 almost never happened. It's crazy to think how a film could be almost finished, but then gone, just like that. That's it for Forgotten Media Fridays. If you enjoyed this video, like or subscribe on this video, or you can share it if you want to, if you want more lost media on this channel.